There's a lot that goes into a magic show, and I'm gonna share with you my seven essential ingredients for a perfect magic show. And the first ingredient that we're gonna talk about today is time. And you just wanna go ahead and light that sucker on fire because it's gonna take some time. And depending on how long that time is, is usually based on how soon you can get it to a point when you're ready to perform. And keep in mind that the complexity of the tricks or if there's any custom props that you want to build could lead to more time to practice and prep for the show. Tricks are obviously a key ingredient to any magic show, but knowing the types of illusions you want to use and when doesn't have to be something you need to know right away. And it's good to keep an open mind because there might be a more impactful way or a better trick that helps get the story across. Too many magic tricks don't have narratives. And I'll tell you what, the narrative is what ties everything together. A good narrative helps to immerse the audience in the experience, allowing them to feel emotionally connected to the performance while still getting rocked with incredible magic. Most magic, it's just not that impressive without practice. How will you know when it's good enough to perform? It's got to be invisible. All of these moves should feel like second nature so that you can focus on arguably the best part of the performance. Now anybody can do tricks, but you, my friend, are a magician. You can convince anybody to take your side and believe you. And you do this with the utmost confidence that what you're about to do is going to work. Your charisma is everything in these moments. Now this totally helps with getting people on your side initially, right? Because you want them to trust you before you start doing this all this magic and wizardry and things like that. And at the end of the day, it's all about people and instilling the sense of wonder to them. Because if you don't have an audience, I mean, what's the whole point? Magician tonight, please give it up to for Darren James. Yes! Here I come. Here I come. If you can get documentation of you performing, that is super helpful for you for better seeing any areas oh of my improvement. Gosh. I've set up GoPros in the corner of a room, people follow me around with our camera. As long as you tell people you're a magician and you're doing this for practice, you can get some reps in while they get a blast of amazement and it's a win-win. So there you have it the seven essential ingredients to a perfect magic show. And that's just the foundation. It's really what you do in the details that really help it stand out. That's why you go at it again and again and really just finesse what you got so you can make it awesome for everyone else. And when it gets tough, because it will, just don't forget why you started. It's okay to accept that most of the time it's really messy in the middle, but if you keep going, you'll discover it's beautiful in the end. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.